relatives left for Anthony Davis to throw a 55 and 15 on top of the streak he's been on? <laughs> he's been unbelievable, man. Uh, and on both sides of the floor, I mean, playing like MVP of this league, um, just straight dominance. I know, I know it's nothing new. Uh, you're very aware of his capabilities, and uh, a lot of us are as well. But is there anything that you've seen in him that has unlocked this play at this time? Yeah, I just think he just, uh, I just think he found, I think he, not finally, but I think he just hit a switch where he knows how dominant he can be night in, night out. Um, he got every aspect of his game working right now, from the paint to the mid range to the threes, free throws, jump hooks. Everything. He has everything working for him right now. Um, what have you seen about his shooting touch, especially in the last two games? It seems like he's hitting for mid range, he's hitting the long range. Is there is there is that confidence thing? Or no, what is it's just it? the work. He puts in the work. When you put in the work, you live with the results. He's not a, a selfish player, LeBron. And, and, but has there, like you mentioned, this a little bit, has there been a, a, a different level of assertion? Yeah, it's our him? yeah. It's, it's our job to give him the ball at all times. Um, you know, he's, he's credited you for kind of giving him confidence in various stretches while he's been a Laker. Do you feel like that's reaching a point, his self-confidence is sort of self-sustaining, he doesn't need to be reminded that he can do this night in, night out? No, I think we all need to be reminded sometimes. Yeah, no matter how good you are, no matter what you got going on in your life, we all need to be reminded sometimes, you know, you know why you're here and what your capabilities are and how much we believe in, in each other. And, uh... You know, me as a, the leader of the team, you know, it's part of my job to make sure to reassure, you know, AD how great he is and um, how great he is in this league, not just for this team, but for this whole league. There was a, a lot of talk after the walking game about, like, sustaining this level of focus and fourth quarter now we were standing. Um, but what you guys did that first three quarters, um, how impressive is that kind of coming off the emotional highs? That's, of the, that's the hardest game to play, um, especially on the road trip is when you get a huge win. In a very, uh, you know, uh, you know, place like Milwaukee, hostile environment, to be able to come back there next game and, and play at a high level, and we did that as close to 48 minutes as possible. I mean, obviously we had a couple of laws, but they were playing, uh, you know, um, um, desperate basketball, and it was just, you know, jacking and getting up and down the floor. So they get caught us on our heels a little bit, but you know, we played a great game again tonight. Did you hurt that ankle again when you tied up with the Bulls? A little bit. I'll be ready on Tuesday. There's been some more lineups this year with you and AD playing either with three guards or sometimes, you know, like Pat playing as a wing. Uh, what's the key defensively in those kind of constructs compared to, you know, like the 1920 team when you were often playing with bigger guys in those spots? Uh, keep guys in front of us and defensive rebound. That's always going to be the most important. You know, when it's me, AD, with Russ, um, Dennis, and Pat, or, you know, if it's, um, you know, Schroeder, uh, you know, uh, Pat Bev, and either Lonnie or, or Austin. We have to keep guys in front of us, and we have to rebound. We have the defense rebound. That's what's most important. And I think offensively, we're going to be we'll be pretty good because we have enough ball handlers out there. We have a big, um, well, a hybrid. He's not even. He's not. We have a hybrid uh, that could you know be all over the floor, and it's my job to put guys in position, you know, especially late in game. And have you and AD figured out some? Not that you figured out, but like you know how to do it, but some different areas to start the screen roll. It seems like a little bit closer to the hoop uh, and just different sets. I don't know if it's working with each other or the coaching staff, but what have you seen? Uh, with me being, you know, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, you know, and being able to see the whole floor, you know, the coach you can get to the rim and makes the, makes the offense run a lot, a lot easier. Uh, keeps the defense even more at bay. And uh, AD's ability to uh, either pick and pop um, or pick and roll or pick and slip. Um, and his, he got great hands, so I could throw it pretty much anywhere for him to go get it. Um, you know, so you know, we we always trying to figure out ways we continue to get better. No, return, return to Cleveland's always something that's special to you. The fact that you're playing against probably the best Cavs team that doesn't involve you on the roster in the last 20 years. What extra juice, juice of any does that bring to the, the matchup? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a very good team, very well orchestrated team. Um, and they've been playing good basketball for the majority of the season so far. Um, and we're starting to play some good basketball. But it's always good to go back. Um, we have a lot of history. Um, you know, it's very close to my, to, to my hometown. And uh, a lot of my friends and family would be at the game. So um, it's always good to uh, be able to still play in front of them. They've seen me 
from the time I ever, first time I ever picked up the basketball to, to now. So um, that's special when it's all right. You said something to Kyle where it's good to be reminded. Uh, Say who? You said something to Kyle about where it's good to be reminded of what yeah, you yeah, yeah. Does that apply to the team as, as well, like over this 10-game stretch? Like it's good for this group to be reminded that well, you guys can win at this level? Well, I mean, um, it's we, been a we, we don't well, – we never uh, – I mean, we never tipped over the, the glass when things weren't going well. You know, we just continue to work, you know, um, continue to get better. Uh, understood that we were a new team being put together with a new uh, coaching staff and a new system. And uh, we had to figure out some things. We had to, you know, figure out who we, uh, who we were, what our identity is going to be, but how we wanted to play. And, um, you know, so and we're still the same way. We, don't, we haven't done anything. Um, we want to continue to work. We got to continue to uh, – Put in the work in order for us to get better on both sides of the floor, and uh, you know, to be you know as good as the team we want we, we want to become. Thanks, Alex. Right. Four uh, from the field and a couple shots, kind of getting used to Porzingis' length, and from that point on, it barely missed for the rest of the night. Uh, where where have you found and continue to build on this rhythm uh, on the offensive side of the court? Uh, just staying locked in. Um, you know, our our team is it's locked in right now. Um, we're very focused on both sides of the ball. You know, we let it slip away in the fourth a little bit, but um, overall, you know, we're just trying to make up ground um, and taking one game at a time. You know, I told the guys it's a huge test for us um, coming off a good win in Milwaukee. You know, we can't get complacent, can't get comfortable. Um, you know, coming in, it's a good team. You know, they've been struggling as of late, but you know, they're a good team. And, uh, you know, we were able to come out with a victory. The paint scoring has been consistent for you and, and the efficiency in there. Has that helped you with the rhythm on your at the jump shot, the threes, free throw line? It seems like that's that's come along as well. Yeah, I mean, seeing the ball go in um, always helps with rhythm, rhythm, uh, rhythm. and uh, just being confident in my shots, you know, from the line, uh, from the three. Um, you know, no matter what it is, you know, I'm always confident in every shot that I take. And uh, like I say it's the, it's the rest of the guys that put me in a you know, position to be successful. AD, I don't want to get too cute here and suggest there was some sort of flip uh, switch that was flipped eight or nine games ago. But like, how do you explain this dominant stretch? Was there anything that you put into it off the court that's contributing to this? Is is this cohesion with the current group of guys? Is your body feeling good? Like, what's going on? Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, combination of all. Uh, body feels great. Um, you know, in a gym, working on my game. You know, we're coming together, you know, collectively as a unit. Um, so everything is, is, is going well for us right now. Um, guys are shooting the ball well. Uh, guys are communicating on defense. You know, we're, we're doing it all as a group. So, um, but for me, it's just. Just being locked in, you know, staying with a mindset of being aggressive, um, not taking the game off, and coming out with a mindset of, of dominating, you know, whatever it is I got to do to help the team win, you know, whether that's scoring, rebounding, blocking shots, you know, whatever it is, uh, I try to do my part. It is there. A, is there a moment or a, a point in a game like tonight where it's like you you know what your numbers are? Is there a certain point where it's like, oh, it's thirty or oh, it's forty? Like, no, nah, I have guys on the bench that. You know, it's telling me Juan. Juan is really the catalyst of, of the group of letting guys know, like, oh, you need one more rebound for a double double. You need, you know, you got 50, go get six. Like, so uh, them guys are telling me, but also, um, you know, me being elite for for a while, I don't want to go out and, you know, force anything. You know, I just play within the scheme, within the game, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So, um, but no, it's not really a time where, you know, I, I – Look up and see, oh, well, I have this. You know, usually the guys tell me. AD, um, you told us at the beginning of the year your biggest goal was to stay healthy, and obviously anything you can do this year, rest on that. But, you know, obviously you ha you're hearing chance of MVP. There are a lot of people talking about the stretch. Have your goals shifted at all, or, or is there a goal that you feel like is Winning maybe coming more? Winning championship. That's it. You know, uh, if your mindset is going on winning championship, the rest will take care of itself. It's always been my thought. Uh, you know, I put the team first over any individual awards or accolades, you know, um, that comes with it. So, you know, we continue to do what we do, win basketball games, and the rest will take care of itself.
is there a realization that for that goal to happen, the team success, you need to be playing at this level? Um, yes. Um, now, we're getting fifty every night. Who knows? But uh, you know, just being down and just keeping uh, my mindset where it is, and you know, it's going to be games where you know Russ have a big night, Brian have a big night, you know, one Lonnie, you know, Austin, whoever. You know, it doesn't. I mean, you guys know me. You know, it doesn't matter as long as we get the win. Um, you know, I'm fine. Last two. AD, um, you know, there's a lot of people saying that this is your best basketball, maybe second best basketball compared to bubble AD. Uh, me in New Orleans? Uh, of, of, I mean, obviously, but I mean, here, here with LA, right? I mean, might be fourth. Uh, I mean, like at that time, right before the bubble, um, and then at the bubble, obviously, your team was playing like we can win every game. I mean, like, where do you think? Um, your mentality as a team's mentality is right now, even after a rough start? I mean, no. Our mentality is always we can win every game. Um, you know, we never come in there like we're going to lose. Uh, you know, the games might be tougher than others, um, but, you know, we always come in with the mindset that we, we have to win. Um, you know, we put ourselves in a, in a hole. You know, we're making up ground, but we got to continue to come out and take it a game at a time. You know, um, took care of Milwaukee, took care of uh, D.C. You know, our next focus is on Cleveland um, and going in with a mindset trying to get a win. You know, uh, it's, it's hard to win on the road. You know, it's hard to win the league. Um, and we know that. Um, but we got guys who just come out and compete every night and, um, you know, follow the game plan and let the rest.